Good old F4J. I hate this thing. Hello everyone, this is Hax the Clapper, and today we'll be flying out the F4J. Now before I actually start talking about this plane, I want to remind you guys that this is just my opinion, and I've gotten into enough disagreements about this plane to know that many others think very highly of it, or at least they think it's decent. Meanwhile, I think this is a steaming hot pile of garbage, but that is my opinion, and I think I am going to explain why I think that way. So right now we go and full commit a another F4, just because this plane, this gun isn't very good, and it's it kind of handles like a brick, so you won't be getting past the head-on very often. Now, so let's see what this plane actually does well in. So if I were to quote another community member, this this plane is really good when it comes to energy. This thing can energy fight anything. And what else can this plane do? Well, this plane, it also turns pretty well at high speed, and that's probably about it. The gun, I would say, is terrible. The handling is equivalent to that of a cruise ship, and the Missiles are really just average. The AIM-9Gs, while they have really good range, they're still somewhat flareable. They're not all aspect. You could say the flare resistance isn't that bad, but it's just really outclassed if you compare it to something like the MiG-21. That thing has four R60s, but Really, on the bright side, this plane does get some flares. You get 90 flares, which I'm pretty sure is the most out of any plane. But the way I see it, it is very difficult for you to use 90 flares in-game. Now, we just sling some missiles towards this F5, but he actually dodges it. This thing, he, he starts flaring and whatnot. Now we're going to go after this F5, and by the way, the F5 completely outclasses this thing. And at this point, my gun actually works, so we're able to kill him. Now, speaking of the gun, what gripes do I have with the gun? Well, I think the spread is terrible. The spread is absolutely terrible outside of one kilometer. And I really don't like that. Meanwhile, the damage of the gun seems piss poor as well. I can consistently kill people in the head-on with the GISH-23, but I cannot do anything with this MK-11. That ability to do head-ons is pretty important in this plane, and you can't do it. The reason I think head-ons are pretty important specifically for this plane is because this plane's flight performance is utter garbage. This thing, while the F-104C might actually be worse, this thing's flight performance is not good. You cannot get past the head-on. They will simply turn around and they'll shove a few bullets into your plane and you'll be done. You are completely boned, you will not be able to dodge them, or even try to get past the head-on, just because your turn rate is really bad. It is extremely terrible. I cannot put into words just how terrible this thing's turn rate is. And I know some people are going to say, well that's your problem, you, you should just go into the vertical, you, you should run an energy trap, right? But the thing is, I'm, I'm a MiG-19 player, alright? I've had my fair share of energy traps, and I know how to run them. But the problem in top tier is that either two things are going to happen. Either you're going to get completely destroyed by a missile, or some guy is going to third party. You can't run energy traps in top tier. You either get third partied, right? Because you've spent all that time bleeding that one person of their energy, and this guy can make a straight line up to you. He's not going to bleed any speed. 
well at least not that much speed, it's going to go way faster than you, and he's going to get an easy shot on you because you're going really slow running your energy trap. Th this makes running energy traps basically irrelevant because, as said before, it is practically useless at top tier unless you're in a 1v1 scenario. And one last thing, this plane is pretty good top speed wise, you can outrun many things, and people have told me, why don't you just run away? And I really think that's a pretty bad statement, because personally when I play this game, I want to get into dogfights with people, I don't want to run away. Running away is not a solution to a plane, you might retain a good KD, but it's not fun and engaging gameplay. And so that's why I really don't think top speed matters either, as well as long as your energy retention is alright, and this thing's energy retention is pretty good. It won't bleed your speed, but also it makes reversals a lot harder. This thing's maneuverability is not good for getting someone off your 6. That's a pretty big problem I have with this plane. If someone is sitting on your 6, there is absolutely nothing you can do. Like, what are you gonna do? Pull and reversal? You you have pretty good energy re retention, and even with air brakes, they can start air braking, and you're done. And you can't outmaneuver them because, well, this thing is a brick. It is pretty bad. In that department, too. So, overall, what I've came to realize with this plane is it's certainly not a trash tier plane, but... It would be a stretch to call this plane good. Like, you can't really energy fight in this top tier meta right now, so that's really not an option that you can take. And running away, I I don't think is fun to do, so I'm not gonna run away when I'm playing this game. And otherwise, it is what it is. This is a pretty mid plane. It is not good, but... It is not in the dumpster either. And if you picked up this plane, I might just say, go go fly the MiG-21 or something that is actually decent. Just maybe skip this plane. Don't, don't buy the missiles like I do. It's really not worth it. And yeah, that's the F4J. A below average plane. In my opinion, this plane is really not anything impressive. In fact, I would say it's pretty bad compared to everything else. And just remember that just because a plane can be worked around doesn't mean it's good. Just because I got second place, which really is pretty bad, doesn't mean that this plane is good. Just because you can go positive in the plane doesn't mean it's good because there will always be a better plane that you can use. And with that guys, this is the end of the video. See you guys next time.